the Sheikh is not supposed to know everything. And uh, whenever he knows all the ahkam of what happened in the past and what the fuqaha have agreed to, this is quite an achievement. For cryptocurrency, it is something fairly new. It's only a few years old. Um, we, I'm not a financial advisor and most of the shiuch are not. So our view will be in the light of is the cryptocurrency recognized internationally by the different countries, by the banks? Is it recognized as an asset by the governments or it is not recognized? If it is recognized and you go and you purchase whatever or you want to exchange it for cash or you want to use it for purchase, whatever, online or, uh, you know, um, in, in the uh, real world, if it is not, if it is recognized, it is okay, it's halal. You know, in the past, people didn't have bank notes. We did not have dollars, euros, pounds, liras. Uh, we had only gold and silver. But people put some assets against the bank notes that they print, supposedly. And they said instead of carrying gold and silver, that represents that much of gold and that much of silver. So the international community agreed to recognize that. So if you travel with the euro to the US or to Bangladesh or to United Arab Emirates at the airport, you can exchange it for the local currency, for the dirham, for the real, for the pound. It is recognized. It has a value. But if it is something virtual and it doesn't have value and there is a risk because it is not recognized, then the Prophet Sallallahu forbade Al-Gharar. Al-Gharar is deception. When you sell, when you buy something with no features, with no clear distinction, you don't know, you know, the clear idea about it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to what is best.